The Salvation Army has been touching life in Singapore since 1935. Every life is precious and we actively help those in need regardless of age, race and religion. In 2000, Prison Support Services Kids in Play was launched. This program is part of the comprehensive network of social services established to meet a wide range of need in our community. Kids in Play works with children aged 5 to 18 who face parental incarceration. Envisioning an inclusive society where families of incarcerated parents are embraced and empowered, we journey and support them towards a future of wholeness in their family relationship. Come, join us and hear their breakthrough stories. Well, my husband has been away for so long, so I've got nobody to talk to. Financials are also on my shoulders. To me, it's a painful journey lah, without my husband next to me. So when I joined Salvation Army, to me the staff from Salvation Army are all very helpful, very caring. Just like my daughter, she is always looking forward for the Salvation Army program. When Salvation Army told me that um, going to visit your husband, you know, it's going to be an open visit. I was feeling very, very excited. And that was whereby I said, wow, this is the chance whereby I can touch my husband, I can hold my husband, I can also hug my husband. Always looking forward lah, for this open visit because it really, really meant a lot to us. When I see Daddy, I hug him. I hope to see Daddy more in Salvation Army because I love you, Daddy, and I miss you. I feel thankful for Salvation Army. I call them as part of my family. The case workers are always giving us uh, motivation to give us the helping hands that we need. I hope I could still be with Salvation Army again. I was incarcerated for drug-related activities when I joined the Salvation Army program called Prison Support Service Kids in Play. I understand that its main purpose is to help children of the incarcerated parents to improve their well-being and empower them with knowledge and understanding. That was something that my family and I needed coping with my incarceration. I am embarrassed and ashamed. I have been thinking about the effect that I have caused my family due to my wrongdoing and selfishness. But it was a relief knowing that my family, especially my children, had someone to turn to. I felt guilty, I felt remorse, but most importantly, I felt being loved. During the family bonding session, I was allowed to mingle and even hug my family members without physical barriers. I think that was the most memorable part in prison. So I took this opportunity by holding their hands tightly throughout the event and it just makes me realize the importance of family and freedom. The feeling was beyond description, but one thing for sure, I will be a better father and a better man. Hello, I'm Sybil, a senior educational executive from Wildlife Reserve Singapore. We have been working very closely with the social workers in Salvation Army. So in 2019, we had our first family day with families impacted by incarceration. I fell in love with the conversations that the families had. We really appreciate them coming to join us and the impact that we could do for our community. 2020, COVID really changed a lot of our plans where we used to have four times a year visit. This time around, we really had to be nimble and adapt to the situation where everything became online instead. It was the most memorable family day for us where we brought it virtually online and we brought the families to River Safari. The families were super interactive and it was really nice to see them take charge of their own learning. I would encourage other community partners to deepen our partnerships and also relationships with one another. We can do a lot more for the community and create a greater impact where we have one another. Thank you! What a joy it is to hear this breakthrough story. Despite the challenges, setbacks and limitations, we want to thank our corporate partners, donors and volunteers for going the extra mile, giving, serving beyond their duty and caring without limitation. We have supported 581 caregivers and impacted 1,123 children and helped 622 inmates. There are still many suffering children and families, those who have yet to experience a breakthrough. You too can be a beacon of hope to enhance restoration of family relationships. Join us and help many others to experience breakthrough in their lives. Let us work together in breaking barriers and rebuilding ties.